guys so in long time no chat I actually started filming this morning but because I was in such a hurry it was like this rambly thing in the morning so I figured I am gonna start doing like lunchtime chats and then that way I can just catch you guys up on everything that's going on and you know I can still chat with you because here is scheduling lately has been horrific so the problem is my husband right now with the time of year that it is um because of the weather and all that he is not going into work until like six o'clock 6 15 actually is what his um dispatch time has been and so that's a problem because it entered like our schedules are like colliding it's actually perfect as far as getting ready because i take a shower I can get out and he before he actually needs to get in and I can start getting ready but the problem is I can't really film and talk to you guys in the morning because he's in and out getting ready and everything and it's you know and I'm talking to him and and all that so it's like with him not going to work either super early or super late it's like I have no time to film and then it's so dark in the mornings on my way to work and it's so dark on my way home that I just I haven't been able to film so I thought you know what lunchtime is gonna be a good time so this will be my first lunch chat and um, but I only I have actually spent the first half of it talking to my husband <laughs> so I was catching him up on some stuff so apparently um, our neighbors like right across the street from us and one house over their house was almost broken into last night and their car was broken into and there was so I was catching him up on that and so um, he was sending the kids out to go check to make sure it didn't look like anything happened, you know, to our house. But, um, I feel like our dogs would have barked, but you never know. So, anyway, um, so I was spent time talking to him about that and catching him up on what we, what I heard from the neighbor. So, um, yeah, just that time of year, I guess. But we have packages coming in, and so I was telling the kids, I'm like, okay, I have packages coming tomorrow and on Wednesday, so as soon as I get notification that those packages have been delivered, I want them to go right out and pick them up because we do have an issue with, what do they call them, like porch pirates? So, yeah, they're just it's so terrible that people do that. You know, people who steal things are like almost like <laughs> the worst. Um... So let me catch you up really quick because I think the last time that I talked to you guys was right before Thanksgiving. So as you guys know, November, October, November was a very rough month for us. Um, it was rough with my husband's health and then he wasn't working very much. So financially it was rough and we're still playing catch up from all of that. Um, he was off the entire week of Thanksgiving. Unfortunately, wasn't paid because it was his waiting week for his unemployment. But we got that out of the way because it looks like he'll be off probably quite a bit around between um, December 22nd through like January 2nd because the mills are almost all the mills are shut down. There's only just like one or two open around that time. So he'll be off quite a bit, which the advantage is I'm off work through the 22nd through January. Sixth is my last day at home and then go back on the on the January 7th so I mean at least we're gonna spend some time together because we really need that and we went out to dinner on Saturday night for the first time I mean, it was just the two of us we just really I was saving up money so we could just have a date night just the two of us because we hadn't had one since our anniversary in September we had not gone out at all the two of us so um, I think with everything that's been going on, we really needed it, and it was really, really nice, and it just felt really good to feel like things are starting to get back to normal, and I felt really good. And then I stepped on the scale on Sunday and realized how much damage I have been doing between the emotional up and downs, not paying attention to tracking. It's like, unless I give myself a challenge, I haven't been tracking. So the week of Thanksgiving, was pretty much my low. I mean, Thanksgiving Day did not turn out the way I wanted it to. Um, you know, just that whole week through the weekend, it just was not what I hoped it would be and things did not work out the way that I had planned. And so it just, I really hit my low and I did not do great that week and I did not track and I just, I just really just didn't do good. And, and then the emotional roller coaster and the stress I know did not do well for my body. So then the week after that, Amanda had asked me to be part of the five perfect days challenge that we did on Instagram and that helped me that week. And I thought, you know what, this is exactly what I need to get me back 
to get me back on track, get me back to, you know, tracking and getting my water in and doing my workout and all that. And I did it for those five days. And then just, I, again, I think that I needed to just get into a good place emotionally. And honestly, this last week, things have been pretty good in that sense. Um, my husband's medication for, he started taking thyroid medication and I honestly think that was a big part of the problem with his moods fluctuating really bad because the psychiatrist could not figure out what was going on was, you know, tweaking the medication and it just wasn't, you know, things were just not, you know, it's just suddenly things were just not doing their thing. And so when he checked his his blood work and everything the only thing that came back was his thyroid came back a little bit low and so he put him on a very low dose and it seems to be doing the trick because things seem to be doing really well and now as far as his physical symptoms so he went to the doctor the Tuesday before Thanksgiving and his primary care physician and he was talking to her a lot about some of the physical stuff mainly the tremors that have been really bad which we really believe that it's due to medication um, because he doesn't have any other symptoms of like Parkinson's or any other, you know, things that um, tremors could be part of. But she just, and she agrees, but just instead of giving him another pill to take, which he takes so much medication, instead of giving him another pill right away, she wanted him to go to a neurologist to see, just to make sure, just to, you know, make her feel better before giving him a medication. And so, um, the only thing about leaving at lunchtime and come back and there's no parking spots um so anyway um she gave him another medication i mean no no she gave him a referral to a neurologist here's the problem there's only one neurologist in the entire county which our county is not huge we have like a hundred thousand people in our entire county but there's still only one neurologist and they haven't called us yet and unfortunately we can't contact them or else the insurance won't pay for it so I'm gonna have to call I have a call into the doctor's office um, his primary care um, to find out um, make sure that referral went through but she's not there today and she's not on the schedule till later in the week I know it's just gonna be crazy with the holidays and I thought okay maybe that's why because it was the week of Thanksgiving I'm hoping it didn't slip through the cracks I'm just hoping that they're just busy but you would think they would still contact us at least to get something scheduled, even if it's not until like February, you think they would. But, and another thing that kind of concerns us is that she doesn't like this neurologist. She said that they're really bad about like, if basically it's like you take the appointment that they give you because otherwise there are just no other ones available. And if you like cancel your appointment, then they get, they like, it's like they penalize you and they put you like months out or they just completely don't put you on the schedule at all. So. I don't know if things don't work out with this one we may ask to be referred to um, Eugene which is like 70 miles north of us and may just have to go up there that's where most people go anyway uh, for these types of things so um, but she's pretty sure I mean it's like it's almost just like just try the medication but because my husband is really just not wanting to go through all these tests but I told myself well at least we would know you know for sure so we're waiting for that to come through. His appetite is slowly coming back, but it's still not quite there, but it's slowly coming back, so that's good. Um, he's eating a little bit, but he's still not wanting like everything. So um, she wasn't really concerned about that, and neither was his other doctor. They said because he's not dropping like a whole bunch of weight or anything, so they're not real concerned about it. They said if it starts to look like he's um, starts dropping massive amounts of weight because he's not eating but he is eating now and he is trying to change the way he eats he's not drinking as many sodas as he was before so he's losing weight but it's not it's weight because he is stopping some of the bad habits he had as far as his eating but we'll see how all that goes um so i think just because things in this last week things have really started to change a little bit i'm starting to feel a lot better um emotionally and i'm feeling um now I need to get back on track. It, it's just, I don't know, it's so hard when you've been off track for so long. Now I just need to get into that place again. And seeing this scale where I am up like nine pounds from my very lowest. Now I'm only like, which I hit that lowest last year, where I was last year, but from where I've hit this year, I'm like seven pounds or something like that. 
um, from where I was like um, back in August. So, um, you know, I'll get there eventually. I just, like I said, I need to get there um, mentally and emotionally before, um, before I can get back on track again. But I'm really feeling um, just really bad about not being bad, you know, for letting myself get off, you know, get off track so bad. Um, so I'm just taking baby steps and I know I could do like, I could just challenge myself every week. Okay. I'm going to do five perfect days, but I feel like then it's not going to be, it's going to be less of a challenge. Cause that's what I should be doing anyway. So, um, but I will get there. I think I just need to fix things first in my environment before I know I can get there because it's, I, I know you, I mean, I feel like I'm being really rambly about all this, but I feel like you guys will totally get what I'm saying. So, like I said, now that, you know, we had kind of, it, just this weekend was a really good weekend um, for me and my husband and really feeling, starting to feel good about um, that things are feeling a lot better. And um, I don't know, I just, I'm feeling really good today. And so I'm hoping that this is a sign that things are only going to get better and better and better. Um, so now things at work are a little chaotic right now we um, are preparing to move offices so this is our last like full week in our current office and then next week um wednesday we have to have all of our stuff completely packed because the movers are coming first thing thursday morning and then we'll be in our new offices on friday which is our last day before we go on break so next week is going to be kind of probably not much of a working week so this week's a little bit hectic trying to get things done um, so it'll be interesting to see how all that goes. Um, so anyway, I'm sorry I just haven't been doing face-to-face -face videos. I think the main thing is, is I don't want to just get on here and not have anything positive to say. And I know you guys want the real thing, but I feel like there were so many of those videos of, you know, this is the place I'm at, this is what's going on. I, there's so many of those and I just, I, I want there to, I want to let you guys know that things are changing and that I am getting into a good place. And I mean, I still have been sharing videos, but I'm talking about the personal videos that a lot of people, um, tune in for. So, um, I appreciate all your messages that everybody's been reaching out to me. I've had a lot of people reaching out to me on Facebook and on Instagram and on YouTube. So I appreciate that. And, um, and I still have been here. I mean, I'm still putting videos out. So I will try to do some of these lunchtime like chats when things are going on. So today I had to go um, buy a gift for a friend. So Friday I'm going out to lunch with um, an ex coworker that we still get together for lunch every couple months or so. So we're gonna go out to lunch. So I got picked up her a gift. And so I did just got done with that. I had to go to the bank because I forgot to put my husband's check in the bank on the weekend. Um, Let's see, I've been trying to get as much Christmas shopping done. I ordered a bunch of stuff on Amazon. I did some shopping this last weekend for the kids and I am done with one kid. So now I just gotta do the other one. We just buy presents for the kids that are at home. And then my other two, um, I usually just give them a gift card or something. And sometimes I put together a stocking kind of for them. Um, and other than that, I pretty much don't have much else to do except for coworker friend gifts. And I'm gonna be doing actually a video on those because I've had a lot of requests to bring back some beading. And I, cause I did some bracelets last year and I'm gonna be doing some other beading this year. So um, that'll be part of a video that'll be going up hopefully on Friday. So I'm gonna work on that stuff this week. Um, when I get home, tonight's dinner is pretty simple. So I should be able to set up my camera, my lighting and stuff and maybe do some of it tonight. So I'm kind of excited for that. I did not look at my beading though to see if there's anything I should have picked up. So hopefully tonight, tomorrow and then I'll video will be up on Friday cause I'm doing um, just like kind of like a, just like kind of a gift guide for friends. Just some things that you can um, put together, you know, some little like homemade gifts or like, you know, DIY gifts. So um, stay tuned for that. Um, hopefully it'll be up Friday. If it's not up Friday, it'll be up next week for sure. I'll have a different video for Friday. But I do have a recipe video going up to a Wednesday. I'm going to do a what I ate video Tuesday and Wednesday and put that up on Thursday. And this video will be up on Tuesday. So anyway, I hope you guys um, are doing well. Let me know how things are going. And let me know if you guys kind of like this lunchtime chat format. Um, it'll just really just be this kind of checking in with you guys seeing how you all are doing and just to kind of say 
hello um another thing i want to put out there i have never done the any live like either on youtube or instagram um i'm thinking that maybe when i'm on break i may do like live like q a videos or something like that um but let me know as i'm planning this i mean i still have a couple weeks um, but let me know if you'd rather do it on Instagram or see it on YouTube. So let me know. I haven't done either format, so I don't know which one is easier for me or anything like that. I think they're probably about the same. I would have to kind of test it out to see how to do it. But let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in participating in and kind of the best time day to do it. So anyway, I have to get back into work. I have five minutes. So I will talk to you guys all later. And I've missed chatting with you. And I promise we'll have more of these little chit chats from now on. So bye guys.